may have heard the kids are getting radical, at least compared to older voters. Among Americans 18 to 34, socialism is viewed more positively than capitalism. In the 2020 presidential election, 54% of Democratic voters under 30 back Bernie Sanders, a Democratic socialist. Sanders won 65% of voters under 30 in the Nevada caucuses. Thank you! Why are you a socialist? You know, I'm originally from West Virginia, and so every time I go home, you see the trees are gone. Cold dust covers the roads, but like, no one's life is improving there. Connor McClellan co-founded a Young Democratic Socialist for America chapter at East Tennessee State University in September 2018. Connor and 11 other members of the group road tripped 14 hours from Johnson City, Tennessee for a three-day conference. Hello everyone, this is Connor McClellan. We're passing through Indianapolis and we're excited to be in Chicago. You don't expect like a bunch of like young socialists to be in the middle of Tennessee, but I think we're like one of the biggest political clubs on campus. 275 college and high school students gathered in Chicago to learn how to be better organizers for democratic socialism and for Bernie Sanders. So this is a little Yolidarity. Um, it's about Southern socialism. So this is to raise awareness that, you know, there are leftist movements in red states. The conference is run by Democratic Socialists of America, which has been around since the early 1980s. When we fight, we win! When we fight, we win! But there was a surge in interest after the 2016 election, and in the last three years, membership has more than doubled from 24,000 people to 56,000. Radical, extreme, far-left socialists have now taken over. The Democratic Party today is a radical socialist party. What do you say to people who say you're radical? I don't think it's radical to believe that everyone should have access to health care. I don't think it's radical to believe people can have free access to college. That happens in European states. So no, I don't believe in radical. Many of the students we talked to at the conference said watching their parents struggle as they grew up is what drew them to Sanders. I come from um, an immigrant family. Um, I've seen my parents work so hard for things that should have been afforded to them as soon as they got here. Things like Medicare, things like affordable housing, things like access to secondary education. My sister and I did not have health care for a long time. So I remember growing up just knowing I wouldn't be able to go to the doctor if I needed to. My dad the other day actually, he was like, why do you support Bernie Sanders? Um, he supports Donald Trump. I asked my dad, when's the last time you've had health care? He said, I've never, I have never had health care. And he's almost 60 years old. At the end, I just said, Dad, I, you know, I support Bernie Sanders because I support you. You may be wondering what these college students are so upset about. The economy is strong and unemployment is 3.6 percent. But behind those numbers are some troubling facts. The average college grad in debt now owes almost $30,000. 60% of personal bankruptcies are at least partially caused by medical debt. And wages are not increasing as fast as housing costs. Almost 40% of renter households are paying more than a third of their income in rent. According to the DSA, democratic socialists believe that capitalism has given too much power to too few people, and that there should be more democratic control over the economy. I want to see workers have a say in the jobs that they do, and not simply be treated as cogs in a machine, expendable. Coal companies have so much money, they extract all the wealth from the state and don't reinvest anything. And like, I grew up seeing that as a kid, and I, every time I go back, it's like it gets worse. There has to be more regulation, there has to be like a vision for the future in which the people who work are valued higher than they are now. We should not be giving any more tax breaks to large corporations. When Sanders ran for president in 2016, he lost. But he changed what these students thought was politically possible. What he has given us is not just him as like a personality. He has given us just, I don't know, this incredible power that after Bernie Sanders, <coughs> there will be something more. Some Democratic candidates are nervous the socialism tag would be ballot box poison. I am troubled uh, by having a socialist lead our ticket. And that Trump would use it to scare more moderate voters. Donald Trump is desperate to pin the socialist label of socialist, socialist, socialist on our party. We can't let him do that. 
And older Americans might wonder why Sanders has gotten so much support from this demographic when a fresh-faced candidate like Pete Buttigieg is in the race. So Pete Buttigieg is a millennial. Okay. Why don't you like him? <laughs> it's so simple-minded to think that just because he's a young guy means he represents something different. I don't think he's sincere, I don't think he's genuine, and I don't think he's gonna bring America what it needs. What about Mike Bloomberg? Mike Bloomberg, ooh. No, Mike Bloomberg's a no for me. Another capitalist, uh, a capitalist who I think is actually scarier than Donald Trump. To me, he seems like he's buying votes. If Bernie Sanders isn't the Democratic nominee, will you vote in the election? Uh, Bernie Sanders will be the Democratic nominee. So I'll be voting for him in the election, yeah. But there is a chance he doesn't get it, right? So if it's someone like Bloomberg, what will you do? I'll vote my conscience. Okay. But I will be voting for Bernie Sanders. Okay. Yeah.